Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss symmetry, even and odd of trigonometric functions and also their periodicity with the help of unit circle. First of all, let us discuss even and odd trigonometric functions. Now a function f of x is an even function if f of minus x is equal to f of x and function f of x is odd function if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. Now using these results, we will find symmetry of trigonometric functions. Now we know when we move in counterclockwise direction, the angle is positive. And when we move in clockwise direction, the angle is taken to be negative. Now let us draw a unit circle on the coordinate plane and let P be a point with coordinates 1, 0 lying on circle on x-axis. Now let us move the point P in anti-clockwise direction by an angle theta which is equal to T and we reach point M. Now M is in first quadrant, so coordinates of point M are X, Y. Now again, move the point P in clockwise direction by same angle measure. And we reach point M dash. Here the angle measure will be taken as theta is equal to minus T because we have moved in clockwise direction. And the point M dash lies in fourth quadrant. So its coordinates will be X minus Y. Now we know any point on the unit circle has coordinates cos theta sin theta. Now let us find the coordinates of m dash in fourth quadrant in terms of trigonometric ratios. Now here theta is equal to minus t. So cos of minus t is equal to x which is equal to cos of t because in fourth quadrant x is positive so cos will also be positive. Now sine of minus t is equal to minus y so this is equal to minus sine of t because in fourth quadrant y is negative so sine will also be negative now tan of minus t is equal to minus y upon x which is equal to minus tan of t, then cot of minus t is equal to x upon minus y, which is equal to minus cot of t, then secant of minus t is equal to 1 upon x, which is equal to one upon cos t, which is equal to secant t. 
and cosecant of minus t is equal to 1 upon minus y which is equal to 1 upon minus sin t which is equal to minus cosecant t and we know that a function f of x is an even function if f of minus x is equal to f of x and it is all function if f of minus x is equal to minus f of x now here you can see sine of minus t is equal to minus sine t so it is odd function similarly tangent cotangent and cosecant are odd functions but cosine and secant are even functions Thus we have sine of minus t is equal to minus sine t, cos of minus t is equal to cos t, tan of minus t is equal to minus tan t, secant of minus t is equal to secant t, cosecant of minus t is equal to minus cosecant t and cot of minus t is equal to minus cot t. Thus, sine of minus pi by 6 is equal to minus sine of pi by 6, which is equal to minus 1 by 2. And cos of minus pi by 6 is equal to cos pi by 6, which is equal to root 3 by 2. Now, let us discuss periodicity of trigonometric functions using unit circle. Now, a periodic function is a function that repeats its value in regular intervals or periods. Thus, a constant capital T is a period of a function f of x. If f of x plus t, the whole, is equal to f of x. Now the period of trigonometric functions can be explained with the help of unit circle. Now see this diagram of a unit circle. It shows all the values of cos and sine for different angles. The x coordinates give values of cos theta and y coordinates give values of sine theta. Now let us start from Zero radian, see the value of cos is 1 here, till we reach pi by 2, cos is positive and all values are different. Now, from pi by 2 to pi, the values of cos are negative for different values of theta. Similarly, in third and fourth quadrant, there is no repetition of values, but when we completed one revolution and reached 2 pi, the values start repeating. For example, if we take theta is equal to 13 pi by 6, then cos theta is equal to cos of 13 pi by 6 and this is equal to cos of 12 pi plus pi whole term 6 which is equal to cos of 12 pi upon 6 plus pi upon 6 which is equal to cos of 2 pi plus pi by 6 now on unit circle, this is same as cos pi by 6 because we moved 2 pi plus pi by 6 radian mode and reached the same point as pi by 6. So here the value of cos will be 3 pi by 2. So after one revolution, the value of cos repeats. So we say that period 
cosine of cos theta is 2 pi. Similarly, the value of sine theta also starts repeating after 2 pi. So, period of sine theta is 2 pi. Thus, period of cos theta is equal to 2 pi and period of sine theta is equal to 2 pi. Now, let us see period of tan theta. Here, see this figure. Here you can see on the sides of orbit pairs, we have given the values of tan theta. In first quadrant, all values of tan theta are positive. In second quadrant, all values of tan theta are negative. So, from 0 to pi, there is no repetition of values. Now, in third quadrant, we see that the values of tan theta are positive and same as in the first quadrant. Also, the value of tan 3 pi by 2 is undefined, same as tan pi by 2, which is also undefined. In first quadrant, the values are same, that is, the values of tan theta are same as in second quadrant. So we see that values of tan theta start repeating after pi. So, period of tan theta is equal to pi. Thus, cos of theta plus 2 pi is equal to cos theta sine of theta plus 2 pi is equal to sine theta and tan of theta plus pi is equal to tan theta. So in this session we have discussed symmetry, even and odd of trigonometric functions and also their periodicity with the help of unit circle. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.